Hi everyone, it's Fella from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Eden Editor tutorial for you. This one is in response to a question from That Beetroots Gaming, who made a comment regarding uh, my video on uh, supports and wanted to know how to use supports that are already placed on the map, i.e. not virtual supports. So it's pretty simple to do and I'll get right into it. So first thing you need is a playable unit. Um, you can use whichever you, unit you like. Second thing you need to do is go up to systems and then down to supports. Now the first module that you want to put down is at the bottom here which is called support requester. So just place that on the map. The next thing we're going to do is place uh, some support modules. The first one on the list is support provider artillery. The second one is support provider artillery virtual. So we don't want the virtual one, we just want the support provider artillery. So we're going to place that down over here. Next we're going to place down, uh, let's go down to support provider CAS helicopter attack and you've also got the virtual ones. We're not going to use the virtual one, we're going to use the one that's fifth down in the list and we're going to place that. And the next one we're going to use is the support provider helicopter transport but again not the virtual one just the normal one and let's do a supply drop one as well so all these modules here this one will provide you artillery an attack helicopter uh, helicopter transport and a supply drop we need to sync all of these by highlighting them all with left click and dragging over them right clicking connect sync to the support requester module. Okay, the next thing we need to do is uh, right click on the support requester module and then sync to the player that we want to have uh, the support abilities for. Now because we don't want to use virtual entities we're going to actually have to place some things. So this first one here we hover over and it says support provider artillery. So we go up to um, our faction down to artillery and I'm going to use a scorcher and we need to make sure that place vehicles with crew is highlighted down the bottom here or that checkbox is ticked and we're going to place the artillery piece down and then we sync by right clicking sync to the artillery support provider the next one is an attack helicopter uh, so I'm going to go to helicopters and I'm going to use a uh, AH9 Pawnee and I'm going to place that there and again I'm going to right click connect sync to the CAS helicopter attack support module or support requester. The next one is helicopter transport so I'm going to request a uh, M9 Hummingbird. I'm just going to place that a little bit further away. You can place these wherever you like, it doesn't really matter. Again, right click sync to the helicopter transport support provider. And the last one we have here is a supply drop support requester. And I'm going to use an uh, UH80 Ghost Hawk for that one. So right click. Uh, connect, sync to, and the supply drop. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how that works in the editor. Okay, you should get a audio message saying support units are on standby and a little message bottom left of your screen to let you know that you have support units on standby. To access these, you press 0 and then 8 on your keyboard and you'll see I have Artillery Strike, CAS Helicopter, Supply Drop and Helicopter Transport. So the first one I'm going to select is uh, an Artillery Strike. So I'll just point in that direction up there and if I was to press 1 and then select the vehicle and the ammunition type it would drop artillery pretty much in the circle that I have highlighted there. What you can also do, if you want to clear that you just press backspace, you can actually go to the map and do it this way. Um, so I'm looking at this hill here and again press 0, press 8 
artillery strike, select the M4 Scorcher, HE shells, and let's have three shells fired. Requesting immediate fire support at the designated coordinates. Over. And then, you get, location received. then you get the message. Out. And there you go. Your artillery, your AI artillery is now going to fire on the location that you have marked there by requesting it on the map. So just in Zeus, if we go over here, we'll see that very shortly rounds complete. Out. our rounds will start to splash down on the area that we've selected. Splash out. They'll be roughly here somewhere. There we go. And it happened to take out the four, four troops that were there. So I requested three rounds, that's two, and there'll be another one four. So that's how your artillery works. Now I want to use the same location and have an attack helicopter, which is the Pawnee. So I'm pointing in that direction. You can either do this on the map, but I, I'm going to do it just in play of you. So press 0, 8, CAS attack helicopter. Requesting Pawnee. close air support at the designated location. Over. The Pawnee Roger. will now start Ordnance to spool receive. off. He'll CIS go off and Out. you'll get a radio message. He'll go off, fly off, and conduct a CAS mission in that location. And if there's any uh, in that location at all, uh, that helicopter will engage the enemy that's on the ground. Okay, while that's happening, uh, what I'll do is I'll move away a little bit, because if you try to do this too close to the transport um, chopper, it um, seems to have some issues if you do it too close. So I'm going to request... First, I'm going to request a supply drop. Requesting supply drop at the transmitted coordinates. Over. Supplies in route. Out. So again, we just press 0, then 8, and then select Supply Drop. And our helicopter over there that is going to drop our supplies should be spooling up. There we go. He's off the ground, and he's heading to our location, and I've requested the supplies get dropped here. So this is where he's going to come and drop the supplies. Just speed it up a little. And here's our supply box. And that'll come down. Just keep in mind if you are using this, even if you're using um, mods, any supply drop you request uh, will still be a standard Armour 3 supply drop. It won't be your custom weapons. So there we've got a whole heap of stuff in there. The last one I'm going to show you is the uh, transport. So again, 0, 8, helicopter transport. And I'm going to get a hummingbird to come and pick me up here. And the transport will soon be dispatched. Yep, here comes our transport chopper. Here he comes. He will now land. Eventually, because as you know, AI pilots in uh, Armour 3 are not the best. We're going to jump on board. Everyone in? Let's get out of here. And he's going to want to, there you go, transmit upload location or, yep. Uh, I'm going to go and fly back to here, just left Copy. click on the map, moving out. and then he will take off and fly to the spot that I've told him to land at. supply box is back in a near same location but not exactly and the uh, transport chopper likewise will land somewhere around here uh, but not exactly where it was before and as you can see also that the CAS chopper has completed its CAS mission and it's come back to a base area 
uh, and uh, not exactly where it was placed before. You can uh, get it to land um, more accurately by placing a helipad on the ground in the editor and the choppers will land on the helipads. So that is how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions uh, further to that, uh, let me know and I'll do a video to help you out. But that's uh, pretty simple stuff. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. We're uh, fast approaching a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, if you like the video, please give us a, uh, a like, a share and a subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.